I've spent a lot of time on LinkedIn recently and noticed many posts from my recruiter and job seeker friends complaining about the recruitment process. Candidates often complain that they receive no feedback from the jobs they apply to. And this is largely because recruiters have too many applications to process, usually hundreds for each job, and there simply isn't time to respond to everyone. So I thought I could build a quick proof of concept app to solve this problem with the help of large language models like GPT-4 and ChatGPT. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's very reliable and I feel it could save many hours a day for recruiters. I created two separate tools. The first is a pre-screening interview chat. Candidates take this before applying for a role. The requirements aren't strict. It mainly tries to identify deal breakers like location mismatches or a basic requirement that the candidate doesn't satisfy. The second tool is a bulk application processor. Here you can paste in a job description regardless of length, set your filtering criteria and start processing. The number of CVs is flexible, you can process hundreds at a time, with each taking a few seconds. For instance, processing 500 CVs would probably take 3 to 5 minutes. Once finished, you get a detailed report on each candidate. Let's try both tools with a simple example. First, I will apply for a backend Java developer role with my CV, which isn't suitable since I'm a JavaScript full stack developer. Let's see how the pre screening interview goes. Good morning. Good morning, Mate. I'm Tim, a tech recruiter. I've had the opportunity to review your application and CV for the backend developer engineer role we have open. I have a few questions to better understand if you're a good fit for the job. Are you ready to proceed? Yes, thank you. Great, let's get started. Firstly, the job description mentions the need for strong Java server-side development experience. While your CV highlights your expertise in JavaScript, it doesn't mention any experience with Java. Could you please elaborate on your experience with Java? Yes, I am mainly a Node.js developer, but I have done a few side projects in Java. I see, thank you for clarifying. Could you perhaps share more about these side projects? What were they about and what kind of Java technologies did you use? Also, how comfortable would you be in a role where Java is the primary language used for backend development? Just basic stuff to test some databases. I guess I could do it with some help. Thank you for your honesty, Mate. It's always good to be open to learning and adapting. Next, I see from your CV that you have experience with AWS. Yes, I've used AWS before. I had to integrate a few services with the front end. I would say I'm a solid eight. That's good to hear, Mate. AWS experience is a key requirement for this role. Now let's talk about SQL and Postgres. Not much with that, sorry. I can do MongoDB. Thank you for your honesty, Mate. While MongoDB is a great technology, the role does require a good knowledge of SQL, specifically PostgreSQL. However, I appreciate your willingness to learn and adapt. Lastly, the job description mentions experience with Kotlin. Do you have any experience with this language or are you open to learning it? No, sorry. Thank you for your time and honesty, Mate. After reviewing your responses and considering the requirements for this role, I'm afraid we won't be able to proceed further with your application at this time. However, your skills and experience are impressive and I encourage you to apply for future roles that align more closely with your expertise. Thank you again for your interest and I wish you the best in your job search. That's sad. I understand that this isn't the outcome you were hoping for, and I'm sorry. Please don't be disheartened. Your skills and experiences are valuable, and I'm confident that you'll find a role that fits your expertise perfectly. Keep applying, and don't hesitate to reach out if you see another role with us that interests you. Best of luck in your job search, Mate. Next, I'm going to apply for a front-end role, which is quite suitable for me. The tricky part is that while I'm looking for a fully remote role, they specified hybrid working, but they just mean occasional visits to Gloucester, which is fine for me. So based on that, I should definitely be accepted. Hi. Hello, Mate. Thank you for applying for the JavaScript developer position. I've had a chance to review your CV, and I am impressed with your extensive experience as a full stack JavaScript web developer. Before we proceed, I'd like to ask a few questions to better understand your fit for this role. Looking forward to your responses. I only have a little experience with Java and it's not professional. 100%, I have been doing front-end that for over 15 years. I built a migration script between CMS systems, saving hundreds of hours for my client. I have used AWS before. I have integrated some cloud services and lambdas into our JS app. Given your strong background in JavaScript, React, and Node.js, I believe you could still be a good fit for this position. 
Before we proceed, could you please confirm your availability for the six-month contract and your flexibility with the hybrid work arrangement, including occasional travel to Gloucester? Yeah, 100% available for the six-month contract. I'm looking for a fully remote role, but I could travel to Gloucester on an occasional basis, maybe once a month. Thank you for your response, Mate. Based on your skills, experience, and availability, I am pleased to inform you that we would like to proceed with your application for the JavaScript developer role. Your extensive experience in JavaScript, React, and Node.js, along with your problem-solving skills and familiarity with AWS, make you a strong candidate for this position. Thank you, I'm happy. You're welcome, Mate. I'm glad to hear that you're happy. I'll be in touch soon with more details about the next steps. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Congratulations again, and I'm looking forward to moving forward with your application. Let's now take a look at the bulk application processor. Okay, so for this test, I'm going to use the same job description I used for the chat, and this is a full stack developer role, uh, React.js, uh, and it's a six month contract on a hybrid basis. Next, I am going to set the filters and we are going all in. So I'm setting location skills and experience all on, which means that the assistant will try and evaluate all of the candidates based on all three of these. Let's click process and then we have to wait a few minutes for this to finish. Just to make things interesting, I added my own CV, so we will see how I do. Okay, the processing is now done. We can see that we have 21 matching and 23 rejected. Uh, this is primarily because most of the, uh, the CVs I added were in the same sort of space, JavaScript, front and back end, so they are mostly relevant. You can see that there's a quick summary, name and title, and a rating on a, a scale of one to five, and an overall uh, evaluation whether it's a good match, a weak match, or in case of rejected candidates, not matching. Going over to the rejected side, we can see that most of the candidates have either one or two stars. And if we click on any one of these, we can see the actual summary of why uh, the candidate was rejected. So let's see, Matteo was rejected because he doesn't have any of the skills listed on his CV and he's from Italy, so obviously that would not work with the location. Let's see another one. Michael is a Python machine learning engineer, so, so that is quite obvious why he got rejected. Uh, let's see a few matching CVs. Let's check my one. So it thinks that most of my skills are matching and it's a good fit, but it mentioned that my Java is not mentioned, which is correct. So that is why I got a four instead of five. Uh, and also things that I could potentially commute on an occasional basis to Gloucester, which is correct. Let's see one more. John Smith, he's also a strong JavaScript developer with relevant skill set, but no AWS mentioned on his CV. And he lives in London, which may or may not work but definitely a matching CV. And that's it. I think both tests went really well. The assistant correctly evaluated the candidates and provided kind and valuable feedback at the end. Also, it's worth keeping in mind that the settings and strictness can be adjusted. So for example, if a recruitment agency were to consider deploying an assistant like this, they could start by evaluating candidates based on very obvious and low risk requirements like location, type of role, inside, outside, IR35, stuff like that. And then gradually move to evaluating skills and experiences, which is a bit more tricky. I hope you like this. Let me know what you think.